you wish the default WYSIWYG editor in Joomla 4 was a little more WYSIWYGier? If you do, or you want to know what I mean by that, I'm going to show you in this video. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 226 here in uh, on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, so if you're looking for long-term help or short-term help or just to get out of a spot, uh, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com, and let's talk. Of course, one of my favorite tools for managing Joomla sites is MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for your Joomla site and uh, check out all the tools and information that you can use there to work on one or multiple Joomla sites. And if you decide to subscribe, Use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA and you'll get your first month free. All right, so let's turn our attention to the screen and see what the heck I mean when I say wizzy wiggier. Now, as you will see, I have just a, just a plain article open here in a Joomla 4 site. And you'll see that right here, uh, it's just pretty plain black and white text. We've got, uh, we've got a, a, a larger uh, font happening here. But it is you know, pretty plain, but there you go, that's the content. But look, if you look at this article in the front end of Joomla, you'll notice it's got a green box around it, it's in green text, it's got formatting, and uh, you know, wouldn't it be nice if that formatting showed up where you're editing the article? Uh, and so it's possible, and I'm gonna show you a really cool uh, plugin that uh, you can install in Joomla 4 to make that happen. Uh, the link will be in the video description below. All right, so what we're going to do is go to wizzywig.dgrammatico.dev, the GitHub of dgrammatico, and uh, he has a really neat little plugin that he has made for Joomla 4 for Tiny MCE, the default editor in Joomla. And basically, what it does is it will show rich pasted content right in the editor as exactly as it's going to appear in the article later on. Now I've already showed you uh, the, the problem of uh, the formatting not showing up. Let's fix that. All right, so here on the page, we're just going to go to download the latest plugin, uh, the latest version of the plugin. We get it, I'm going to save it to my computer. I'm using Chrome, so now it's down here for me to drag and install. We will go into the back end of Joomla. We're going to go to system, and we're going to install extensions. Basically, we're going to drag that up and install it. And there you go, it's installed. Now watch what happens. We go back here and we refresh. And when that page gets refreshed, look at that. We have the same formatting in the WYSIWYG editor as we do in the front of the page. Now, if you're wondering where to get the text and, and get other things, other uh, code like this to spiff up your articles, Stay tuned, I'm going to show you that in a second. But as you can see, by installing this plugin, you can make the WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get, WYSIWYG editor, even WYSIWYGier, and it will display exactly as you're going to see things here on the article when you view it in the front of the page. Now, let's take a quick look at the code here, and I'll show you where you can find some other code. The default template in Joomla 4 is based on Bootstrap 5. And when we view the code view of this article here, you'll see that we have some source code. Now, actually, I actually use the source code that uh, uh, D Grammatical uh, supplies rich paste of content down here at the bottom just to experiment. And so when you paste that code in there, you see we have div class, alert, alert class, alert, that makes things green. And the heading four has a class alert heading, so that's green. Uh, we've got a bunch of things happening there. If you wanted to find other things that are in Bootstrap 5 that you can use in this place, just go over to getbootstrap.com. Now I'm already in the Bootstrap 5 area. Let me show you how to get there. Go to boot getbootstrap.com. And then down here, you'll see currently 5.1.3. Click get started. And then what I'm gonna suggest just for playing around, cause this is all information that has to do with Bootstrap 5, go down to components and you'll see right here, we have alerts. And here's a bunch of different alerts. And as you scroll down, here's the different codes for putting those things inside an article. So let's skip uh, alerts and let's go down to buttons. 
Oh, we've got a bunch of buttons here. Let's use the green. Uh, we already have green on there. Let's go with the danger button. Danger, so that's fine. The code down here. Yeah, there we go. Button, type, button, type equals button, class, button, button, danger, danger, button. I'm going to say that fast five times. We're just going to copy that code. And then we're going to go back to the article. Oh, there we go. And we'll just paste that in. We're going to click OK. And look, there is our danger button. And we already see it in the editor as we're going to get it on the front of the page. Now, at this point, you could change this to, into a link or you could uh, perhaps tell it to center on the page. You can change the size, uh, you, you know, customize the page as you want. But the cool thing is, is now you have a little bit more of a better idea what the page is going to look like when you publish it because when you refresh it, there you go. There's the red danger button. There's your text, just like that. The default editor in Joomla is WYSIWYG gear, and that will be nicer for you working your page, especially if you, if you have clients that want to add content and, and see things more like how they're going to appear, you can show them how to use this method. So I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe, ring the bell to get notifications of new things happening here in the channel, and why not give the video a like? It will help others to find it, and that might make them happy. It will make me happy. Until the next time, Enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.